and rings and sonar powered shiny thing. Super fantastic! Fun boom factory! High speed gross out great big! Actually, Alan Zakers, created by Larry Schwartz. Paving the driveway, directed by Stephen Moverly, written by Kim Holmes. the treetops of the Wongo Rainforest with the help of my trusty pilot, Carlos. We were on the lookout for rare purple jungle apples that only grew way up high in the trees. We had to find them fast so we could make a super-sized jungle apple pie in time for dinner. Carlos, can you see anything? of the purple jungle apples right in front of me. Whoa! Hmm, I know. I use my special jungle apple catching net. with my co-pilot Carlos in search of purple jungle apples. Jungle apples, huh? I hear they're very heavy. <laughs> they were a little heavy, but nothing my special jungle apple net couldn't handle. After we landed, Carlos and I made enough jungle apple pies to last us seven months. What you got there, Mom? Is it one of Dad's dinosaur fossils? <laughs> no, honey. It's a piece of our parking lot. What's wrong with our parking lot? It's old and full of holes and cracks. Your dad and Cooter are outside right now waiting for the cement truck to arrive. Uh, and it should be here any second. A cement truck? Cool! Can I go outside and watch? Sure, honey. They're right out back. Yippee! I was on my way to play in the underwater volleyball tournament with my pet Cooterfish. Hey, buddy, are you ready to play? Wait, what's that? You lost our volleyball? Oh, no! What are we gonna do? Hmm. Aha! I know! Excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering if you would help us out by... And then if you could just... All right! Ready, Cooterfish? Okay, here we go! Me and my Cooterfish 
were having a lot of fun playing blowfish ball under the sea. And so was the blowfish. <laughs> Actually, I just found Cooter and my dad out by the parking lot. Hey, Dad. Hey, Cooter. Hey, little lady. Hey, Ellen. What you doing, Dad? Cooter and I were about to repaint the parking lot, but Mr. Healy's car is in the way. We'll have to ask him to move it before we can do anything. If only I had his car keys. I can get Mr. Healy's keys for you, Dad. I know just where to find him. Great. Thanks, Ellen. You're welcome, Dad. My friend Tiny the Woolly Mammoth went to the grocery store to pick up a tub of frozen yogurt. But he had already been gone for 20 minutes. He was going to be late for band practice. Good thing I brought along my portable trunk trumpet 5000. Here you go. Oh, thanks. They're so shiny. Wow, Andre's going to love these. I have just returned from the enchanted forest with a bouquet of flowers for my good friend, Andre the dragon. Yeesh, Andre, have you been eating roasted garlic chips again? Your breath is really stinky. <laughs> Don't you worry, pal, I got just the thing. My brand new Dragon Toothbrush 650 will get your teeth shiny and clean in no time. Let's give it a shot. Now open wide. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Now that Andre's teeth were clean, I could give him the crystal flowers without having to hold my breath. <laughs> Actually... I had just given my dad the keys to Mr. Healy's car. Thanks, Ellen. No problemo, Dad. Perfect. Now the cement mixer can fill in these crumbly cracks. Cement? Cool! Awesome. With a little smoothing, the parking lot will be as good as new. Hooray! I was really busy today. I napped a juicy purple jungle apple with the help of my co-pilot, Carlos. 
played blowfish ball with my pet cooterfish, jammed with my friend Tiny the Mammoth in the Arctic, and helped my friend Andre the Dragon brush his stinky teeth. I was so tired that I was going to take a quick nap in my helicopter before digging into a freshly big jungle apple pie. Actually, I was so tired after our delicious dinner of turkey meatballs that I went to bed early. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. <sighs> my bed was cozy and warm. Actually, <laughs> actually, it 